In China, state-sponsored repression against all religions continues to intensify. The mass detentions of Uyghurs in Xinjiang continues. So does the repression of Tibetans and Buddhists and Falun Gong and Christians, said Secretary Michael Pompeo as he released the 2019 U.S. Department of State International Religious Freedom Report. The report cited foreign-based religious freedom advocates expressing fears for the potential future of religious freedom in Hong Kong if the mainland government further encroaches on Hong Kong's autonomy. Last November, four masked intruders set fire to the Epic Times Hong Kong Bureau's printing press, damaging machines and printing paper in the factory. The arson attack was included in the report as the Hong Kong edition of the Epic Times was founded by Falun Gong practitioners and has been the forefront of combating the Chinese Communist Party's suppression of press freedom in Hong Kong. The annual report also mentioned that Falun Gong practitioners in Hong Kong continue to be harassed by the CCP and how Falun Gong is still concerned that the CCP hires private groups in Hong Kong to attack them at public events. In September, two assailants attacked a Falun Gong practitioner after she met with the police to discuss a planned Falun Gong demonstration. Signing the executive order on advancing international religious freedom last week, President Donald Trump identified religious freedom as a U.S. foreign policy priority. Pompeo said that the move is of great significance and is the first time that's ever been done by any chief executive anywhere in the world. The very existence of the annual report is evidence of our strong resolve to defend human dignity, says Pompeo.